quick disclaimer to YouTube before this video starts. I'm on a private shooting range, private property hunting. I am not in any way promoting or advertising or modifying this firearm. It's just a friendly bloody video. So if, if I have to like do the little check video, because YouTube's probably gonna demonetize this video, and if you, the little checky person is watching this, trust me, it is within the guidelines, so please don't demonetize this video. It's all good, just chill out. All right, enjoy the video. G'day everyone. So, I'm wearing the right jumper today because I am shooting a fierce carbon rival in 300 PRC. So a big thanks to SJS for, for getting this rifle out. Thanks to H&S for helping out along the way there. Just done my first shot with the rifle at 525 meters on that little, it's like a 10 inch gong out there, 12 inch gong, something like that. So, I just had the Kestrel. Had the Kestrel that was provided with the rifle, chucked in me distance, as you saw, bang, hit. So, now I'm going to get out into the hills behind me. I'm going to try and find a deer. I just wanted to make sure it was zeroed. I was told it was zeroed, but what better way to check that it was zeroed than to shoot at 525 meters in a little gong. So, it's shooting good. We'll go out and test it out in the field. What do you reckon, man? <laughs> what are you doing back there? Hey? G'day everyone, welcome back to another pros and cons video. Today we're talking about the fierce carbon rival. So a big thanks to SJS Trading and h &S Firearms for making this pros and cons video possible. Jump over onto their social medias and give them a like or a follow or jump into the store, check them out. So straight off the bat, we've got our pros list. The very first thing when I picked up that gun was like, damn, it is light. So it's 6.4 pounds or 2.9 kilos, which is pretty damn light for a, basically it's, it's a sort of purpose-built long-range style rifle, but in a lightweight configuration. So you get your carbon wrapped barrel, carbon fiber stock, and it's, I really, really like the feel of it. And it's well balanced. Just to pick it up and put it in your hand, it's like, damn, this thing feels pretty bloody nice. Next pro I've got on my list, smooth action. When you push that bolt forward and drop it, it just feels like everything's very tight tolerances. It feels quality. It doesn't feel like they've skimped out on the machining or anything like that. It's only got a 70 degree lift on the bolt. So you can run big objective scopes, big turrets, and you're not gonna be hitting them on your way up when you're lifting your bolt to eject your round. Another pro on that is positive ejection. The cases get flung a considerable distance. There's no hangups or anything like that. Next pro is the trigger. So the trigger they've got in this rifle is a Bixen Andy Dakota. That goes from one to three pounds. It's adjustable, very easy adjustments. It's got a little screw underneath there. For a factory rifle, especially out of the States, typically Yankee rifles seem to be really heavy from factory. This thing was already just awesome. Next pro is the built-in bipod rail at the fore end of the rifle. So I'll give you a little bit of a look at that with some footage. The Atlas just clips straight onto that. Absolutely awesome. Great platform. If you're stalking without the bipod, you're not running your hands into, into sling studs or anything like that. It's got the QD sling points, the front and the rear of the gun. So there's no sling studs getting hooked on anything. So when you're shooting prone at the back of the rifle, there's no studs to, to get caught on your shooting bag or your backpack or whatever. At the front, there's no sling stud to smash your hand or anything under recoil so very very well thought out and i like that next pro fierce rifles comes with a 0.5 moa guarantee and they are provided with a test target so when sjs get them in they have a test target 
to guarantee to you that that rifle will shoot 0.5 MOA, which I think is a pretty damn impressive guarantee. Most guns are sub 1 MOA, this is 0.5 MOA guaranteed. So I think around Australia, you're probably going to be hard pushed to beat a guarantee like that. The next pro I've got on here is the titanium brake. So they've got three rear facing ports and then the most rearward port closest to the shooter is sort of angled forward, maybe 90, but it looks like it's slightly angled forward. I don't know the exact specifications on that, but I tell you what, 100% works. Very low felt recoil and no gases blasting back in your face like some other brakes that just all have the angled back ports. Honestly, probably one of the best muzzle brakes I've ever used. Was very impressed by it and was very nice to shoot. Didn't have that crazy side blast or anything like that and there wasn't stuff blowing up from underneath like it would be with a radial brake. So really like the muzzle brake. Next pro I've got on here is the stock design. So the comb where you're dropping your cheek down to look through the scope, you've got a really good alignment with the scope. It's, it's designed to have a scope on there and they've really thought about the height that they've got the comb. Everything just works. There was no shuffling around to try and get a clear picture through the scope. It was just like bang on, straight good picture. <laughs> I'm just laughing at one of the things I wrote down. I wrote down on my list of pros that it looks good. And it is, that is a pro. It does look good. It is a damn good looking rifle. You have already seen some of the footage of it. And if you think this rifle looks bad, you're bloody crazy. <laughs> Next pro, limb saver recoil pad. I don't know the exact model of this recoil pad, but damn, that thing is awesome. It's super soft and squishy, but it's still nice and firm when you've got it in your shoulder and you can tuck it in there. It's not too soft. But like I said earlier about the muzzle brake, the, the felt recoil with this gun for such a lightweight rifle in 300 PRC was very, very impressive. And finally on my pros list, I've got that it's accurate. I'd never shot this gun before. I got it, was told it was zeroed, and I thought, well, I'll check if it's zeroed at 505 meters. So I laid down, got the Kestrel out, chucked in the distance, bang, hit the first shot. So will not complain about that. It's clearly accurate. I shot another hind at 450, that stag at 250. Definitely an accurate gun. It's got the accuracy guarantee. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the pros of this rifle. Okay, moving on to the cons of the Fierce Carbon Rival. The very first one I noticed straight away is the pistol grip is a little bit short and it's too thick. So I reached out to Steve at SJS and basically let him know about my thoughts on the pistol grip and said, hey man, like, has, has Fierce done anything about this? And he has happily told me that Fierce has rectified that. I believe the new model's about to come back into Australia and the US guys watching this, you're probably already starting to see them thin down, but the new pistol grips are gonna be a little bit longer and thinner. So it's gonna be more comfortable if you want to use this rifle for stalking, because at the moment in the configuration that it's in right now, it's definitely more designed to be a prone long range rifle but it did have that potential to sort of be used as a crossover stalking rifle as well. And I believe if they're gonna thin down that pistol grip a little bit, make it a little bit longer, it will be able to be used for both more comfortably. There's no, no reason it's gonna stop you from doing it now with the current, the current grip on there, but it is a little bit thick. It isn't as comfortable to use and hold while stalking. All right, time to wrap this video up. So I've got one more con. There's only two cons I had on the list. The first con was a pistol grip. The second con is a price tag. I don't know the exact prices at the moment for US and for Australia, but they're not cheap. These rifles aren't cheap. Don't forget we're talking about a carbon wrapped barrel, we're talking about a carbon fiber stock, lightweight, long range sort of hunting rifle. So you are gonna have to expect a pretty hefty price tag. They do come with a 0.5 MOA guarantee. So, you know, you're sort of getting into that semi-custom territory. If you want, I mean, you could always fork out a bit more money and a bit more wait time and buy a full custom. But I think for the most part, anyone that spends the money on one of these Fierces, you are not gonna regret it. You're not gonna be disappointed, I don't believe. So that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. There's someone out there, there's someone out there mowing the friggin' lawn and I just wanna like do this final little talk to the camera 
I don't know how much audio of that is going into the camera right now from the lawnmower, but it's not cool. Remy's all up in my face. I don't know whether you could see her in frame. She's just wanting some attention. <laughs> Before you guys make a decision, don't forget to... Bleh. All right, that's gonna wrap this video up. So I hope you've enjoyed the pros and cons format. Hope you've learned something. Don't forget to do your own research. Go to gun shops if you can. Pick up different rifles. Work out for yourself what you want in a gun and what you like, what you're gonna need, what you're gonna use. But hopefully this has helped someone. Big thanks to SJS Trading and HS Firearms once again. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.